Sunday marks the 34th anniversary of the Tiananmen Square massacre, when Chinese soldiers opened fire on peaceful, student-led, pro-democracy demonstrators in Beijing. The topic is banned in mainland China, but people in Hong Kong long held annual commemorations. However, since Beijing imposed a 2020 security law on the once autonomous territory, calling attention to the 1989 crackdown means a swift response from local authorities. As Hong Kong police drag him away, San Mu Chan calls out, don't be afraid of them. And don't forget June 4. The performance artist was detained on the eve of the anniversary of the Tiananmen Square massacre, when in 1989, Chinese soldiers opened fire on peaceful protesters. For decades, Hong Kong had been the only Chinese city to hold large-scale commemorations of Tiananmen. Any mention of it is banned in mainland China. But freedom to speak out in Hong Kong has been suppressed since Beijing imposed a national security law in 2020, clamping down on the city's pro-democracy movement. Hundreds have since been arrested. This year, the site of the annual vigil has been transformed. Victoria Park is hosting a Chinese food carnival. The festival celebrates Beijing's rule of Hong Kong. In the past, this venue has always been occupied by others, but now we've taken it back. It reflects the prosperity of our own country and Hong Kong. It's a symbol of Hong Kong restoring order from chaos. The park doesn't need to be occupied by others forever. Police have deployed thousands of officers to patrol the park and government sites over the anniversary weekend. 34 years on, Beijing is erasing the last public memories of the Tiananmen massacre. For more, I'm joined from Hong Kong by our correspondent Phoebe Kong. Hong Kong was once known for holding the biggest Tiananmen Remembrance event. Those days are over, and it certainly looks very quiet where you are, Phoebe. How are people marking the anniversary this year? Well, you're right, it's been a long tradition for Hong Kong uh, the more the victim of the 1989 Tiananmen crackdown uh, for three decades. Uh, right here at the Victoria Park, the very landmark uh, venue of the uh, 30 decades long visual which was held, uh, which was held here like before the national security law was imposed, but uh, but it's no longer like allowed now. And uh, like it, there, ha there, there can hardly be any public gatherings here in Hong Kong uh, under the political pressure and all the uh, worsening uh, like uh, political climate, that uh, people are like resort to a more low-profile approach to uh, maybe to mourn and commemorate uh, privately and uh, individually. Some uh, shopkeepers they uh, give away candles at their stores uh, despite uh, government uh, surveillance, and some are uh, like uh, posting subtle uh, mourning uh, words and uh, posts on social media despite uh, pressure. So that's the way uh, of the commemoration nowadays and also the jailed activist Chao Hang Tong which was uh, was one of the organizer of the uh, commemoration visuals uh, uh, passed a message to a Facebook page that she is holding a hunger strike in prison today. Mm. Are there Hong Kongers who intend to defy the Chinese government's ban and mark the anniversary in public? It is really hard to uh, commemorate uh, this uh, Chinese taboo at the very sensitive date uh, in public now. Like just the night before the anniversary day, last night, uh, at least eight people were uh, taken away or arrested uh, over uh, like uh, like in seditious uh, intention by the authorities. As like some of them, they are trying to uh, perform action arts uh, on the streets. Some of them, they held uh, banners of signs and mourning and some even uh, holding white flowers were uh, taken away by police uh, for investigation or even like possible prosecution. So uh, it's really hard and uh, there are very few people doing so, but uh, people are like, like some people are like resorting to other way to, to mourn the, uh, the, uh, the, the uh, very uh, like Tiananmen uh, anniversary overseas and the people are resorting to other much safer ways uh, online or somewhere that they can do it safely. Our correspondent there, Phoebe Kong, many thanks.